H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. So, yesterday we discussed on our WordCon program, which is our first program in our MapReduce, right? So, is everyone okay with that or any questions on it? So, let's see something more about it as well today. So, okay. So before going into the next topic, let me ask you a few questions such that it will be helpful for you also at this point of time. So okay, <clears throat> I had given you 10 questions. So I want each one of you to try on these questions and let me know the answers okay so once you are ready with your answers just let me know I will give you one or two minutes time for each of you so that we can start discussing on each of the question okay so just ping me like question number and answer so whoever knows which co which question just ping me on that so I will write those answers here itself so guys uh, the reason why I had given you is at least one or two questions from these 10 questions will be a short short question when you are trying to do your certification ok good so now we are ready with our answers ok so anyone want to change these answers or is everybody okay or is everybody in sync with the same answers just let me know before I proceed okay if anyone has any other point with you just let me know So, all good? Is everyone fine? Can we go ahead on discussing them? Fine. So, let's start with our first question. Who is the manager of storage in Hadoop? Right, name node. So, name node is the guy who stores everything and mean he stores all the metadata and he say tell like he tells like where our particular data should be stored in which kind of data node or in which machine right okay so this right one second guys sorry okay let me go ahead who is the slave for storage in Hadoop data node? Right. So data node is the guy who actually stores the data, right? So based on the terms and conditions or the commands that were given by our name node. So who is the manager of processing in Hadoop? Right. So job tracker is the guy who starts work working on the processing system and he will tell you like which particular task tracker has to run a particular phase maybe a function it might be any function right a map function reduce function partition function or any other function right so he is the guy who let you know and task tracker is the guy who actually performs this processing so all good till here 
dust tracker tries its best to process local data. So we had discussed like I mean we will try our best to work on the data where it is present on it machine. So we will try to run our map phase on a machine where the data is present. So that particular map phase is executed by, by our task tracker, right? So the task tracker is the guy who tries its best to perform on local data. Data from mapper to reducer is sorted by values or false. So can anyone tell me the right answer on this? The data from mapper to reducer is sorted by which one? Keys. Perfect. Good job. Job tracker performs the reduce phase. So who is going to perform our reduce phase? Who is the guy acting on it? Come on, yaar. So let me see who has answered six. Rahul. Rahul has given me or answered me as false for question number six and seven. Right. So task tracker is the guy who actually decides where our reduce function should run or where our map function. Not only map and reduce, any of the function that is decided by task tracker only. So data node and job tracker runs on every slave. False. Right. So the two systems, the name node and data node is related to storage and processing is related to job tracker and task tracker. So the data node and task tracker will run on each of the slave and the name node and job tracker will run on our master machine. Right? So this is correct. Each input block is an input to our map phase. So how many of you agree on this? So any other thoughts on this? We had discussed about it. Just try thinking. Split. Perfect Akshay. Yes. So the map phases will be working on splits. but not on actual physical blocks. Right? We discussed about it. Any questions on this? So is everyone okay with this input splits answer? Okay. So partitioner is the guy who reduces the network traffic from mapper to reducer. So what is the functionality of partitioner? here any guesses just I need a one line answer I don't need any functionality because we haven't discussed on the functionality of partitioner yet Okay, let me go ahead. Guys, remember this answer, okay? Partitioner is the guy who decides which key should go to which reducer. So suppose I am having more than one reducer in my <coughs> function. Okay. So then partitioner or the default 
partitioner will come into picture and he will decide like which key should go to which reducer so suppose i am having four keys as my outputs from my mappers so he will decide like which two keys should go to which reducer or maybe the combination can be of any way it can be 1 is to 3 or 2 is to 2 or 3 is to 1 something it can be of any combination so partitioner is the guy who decides that okay first key should go to first reducer and the next three keys should go to next reducer two keys should go to first reducer and other two keys should go to second reducer so in that way he is the guy who decides all that so Arjun has a question okay sorry to ask is the answer for the last question wrong or right yeah you are right uh, uh, Akshay I mean it is the answer is false sorry Arjun so the answer is false so partitioner is the guy who decides which key should go to which reducer but he doesn't care about the network traffic that should be I mean how to minimize the network traffic so the framework has to look into that I mean see I mean that is the reason we are talking about data locality right so to reduce this all the network traffic and all those things only we will try to work on it so the task tracker will try to take care of it but partitioner the functionality of him is just he will decide which key should go to which reducer that's it ok welcome So guys any questions on the whole information I had given to you? So these are very important from a developer point of view and you will get it sure short questions in your certifications as well. And also let me add one more point here. So can we go ahead if everyone is fine with it? So okay, all good? Fine. So uh, guys is anyone of you aware of SQL at least on a very high level okay good so let me ask you one question here So what actually is word count program if you think in the terms of SQL? Just try to go slight deeply. I think. So can anyone tell you the uh, tell me the actual SQL command that is equal to our word count program what we did yesterday? good so if you think here it is nothing but count of star
perfect, perfect, yeah. Perfect. So it is nothing but this query itself, right? Running this query in our SQL is nothing but equal to our mapper phase, reducer phase and then the driver phase, right? So we are writing a very big program to do a simple operation, right? <laughs> But definitely there is so much of use of writing a MapReduce program. So probably our SQL will fail if at all the count is more than some terabytes of something like that, right? But that is where the MapReduce functionality will come into picture. So whenever the SQL is not able to handle some huge amount of data, MapReduce starts showing it colors. So actually what happens is So will everyone accept with me? Okay so before going to the next topic, I will give you a question and I will try to take the answers at the end of the session, okay? But meanwhile, have a think of it. So guys, is everyone clear with this question? Or any questions on the question? Okay. Good. So take some time to think about it and let just let me know what will be the mapper output so that you can slowly try thinking about how to write the program. Okay. I don't need actually a pseudocode. Just meanwhile, just let me know like what will be the output of my mapper and how it will go to my reducer. Okay. So later on you can try at your home to write how to write the pseudocodes and all on Java. Just just let me know the flow through like how it will be flowed through mapper to reducer and how you will get the output. H2K emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.